Good morning, fourth graders. Today we're on page 189 of your student journal. Page 189. And our objective today is, today I will multiply whole numbers by fractions. Okay, so our objective is today I will multiply and we're going to multiply a whole number by fractions. So let's look at our vocabulary. Okay, our first word is factors and they're reminding us that in a multiplication problem the factors are the numbers that are multiplied together to get your answer which is called our product. Okay, they also remind us about a unit fraction. It's any fraction with a numerator of one. We're not only going to be using unit fractions though. When I said we're gonna multiply a whole number by a fraction, they're not always going to be unit fractions. Then they remind us what an improper fraction is. It's a fraction representing a value greater than one in which the numerator is greater than the denominator, okay? And then they also show us about repeated addition and that we can group them in repeated addition. So two eighths is the same as one eighth plus one eighth and two eighths is one eighth plus one eighth. So they're just showing us different ways to do this. Okay, boys and girls, if you look at our steps today, they are extremely long. I am not going to be reading through these or using these. I'm going to show you them because I think these are too long for us to try to memorize. Okay, so I'm gonna get started on mine right now. Okay, here's my first problem. And it says, use a number line to find the product of three times three fourths. So product, that's our clue word of multiplication. But they also gave us the multiplication symbol right there. Okay, so they want us to use a number line. This is the strategy they want us to use. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my number line. Now what you're gonna notice, ladies and gentlemen, is I don't know how long my number line's going to be, so it's not gonna be just zero to one. Sometimes we have number lines that are just zero to one. I'm not sure how long this one's going to have to be, so I'm gonna actually make it longer than zero to one. I'm gonna maybe make it one, oh, friends, I already made a mistake. That's supposed to be a one. I'm gonna go up to three. Okay, now, when I divide this number line, I use my denominator to tell me how many parts to break it into. But remember, this means that a whole was cut into four pieces. That's what a denominator tells you. How many was the whole divided into? They don't mean the whole number line, they mean each whole. So this is considered a whole. Zero to one is a whole, one to two is a whole, and two to three is a whole. So this four denominator tells me that each whole whole needs to be divided into four pieces. So look at I have one, two, three, four pieces. Each whole needs to be divided into one, two, three, four pieces. So one to two is a whole. Two to three is a whole. So that also needs to be divided into one, two, three, four pieces. Okay, so that is how I determined how my wholes need to be divided. Now, they want me to do three times three fourths. So I'm gonna go ahead and label these. I have one fourth there, two fourths, three fourths. Now one is equivalent to four fourths. Remember, anytime a numerator and a denominator are the same, it's equal to one. And if I keep going, that would be five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, and notice how we're all into improper fractions now because we're greater than one. This is one, this is less than one, and everything else is greater. So eight fourths, nine fourths, 10 fourths, 11 fourths, and 12 fourths. And I'm gonna hope that that's far enough. Okay, so what they wanna know is three times three fourths. So I'm gonna jump to three fourths. I did three-fourths, so this is one, two, three-fourths. 
but they want me to do that three times. So they want jumps of three fourths three times. So ready? I'm gonna do, here's another one, two, three. Do you see how that's another three fourths because it's one, two, three, three chunks? Okay, I'm gonna do another. Here's one, two, three, another three fourths. And this is where I end up because I made a three fourth jump, another three fourth jump, another three fourth jump. So I made three three fourth jumps. And my answer is nine fourths. Okay, that is what three three fourths looks like. Okay, I'm gonna show you another one using a different strategy. This time they say, find the product, yeah, that's our clue operation word, a four times two fifths using an area model. Okay, this is a different strategy they want. They want me to do two fifths four times, but they wanna see it on an area model. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same idea though, right? I'm gonna do the same idea as I'm going to use that denominator of a five to tell me how many parts to cut my hole into. And friends, I'm getting my crayons quickly because my son has taken them. So give me just a sec. Sorry about that, friends. Okay. So I know that the denominator is a five, so that tells me every hole needs to be divided into five parts. So I'm gonna have one hole, and the denominator five says divide it into five parts. Okay, and the numerator two tells me I have two of the five parts. That's what the, the numerator says. So that is what two-fifths looks like. But they want four of those. They want two-fifths four times. So I'm gonna draw it again. And each hole needs to be cut into five parts. And here's another two-fifths. So now I have two two-fifths, but how many do they want? They want four of them. So I'm gonna draw another two-fifths. and they want another two-fifths. Okay, so what do I have here, ladies and gentlemen? I have one, two, three, four two-fifths. So I have two-fifths four times. Okay, and what would my answer be? Well, if this is one-fifth and that's one-fifth, those are one-fifth also, but do I really have these ones? No. I only have the shaded in. So I have this one, I have this one, that one, that one. So how many do I have? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four two-fifths equals eight fifths. That would be my answer. Okay, let's try some of these together. Notice that I had to go run and get a crayon. You might want to pause the video really quick to get something to shade in with too. Either a light colored crayon, a pencil, or a highlighter would be great. Okay, when you're ready, friends, we're on page 190, and here's our first problem. It says, use a number line to find the product of five times one third. Okay, so we want a number line, and product always tells us we're multiplying. Okay, so let's do a straight line. Number lines have arrows. Okay, on this one, let's go up to two. Zero, one, and two. If you go too far, that's okay. If you don't go far enough, that becomes a little bit of a problem. So you might wanna leave yourself some room if you make a mistake. Okay. The denominator tells us how many each hole is cut into. So because we have a denominator of three, it means each hole has to be cut into three parts. So this hole is cut into one, two, three parts. This hole is cut into 
one, two, three parts. So remember that, that each hole has to be cut into that. Okay, so now because it's thirds, we can start counting. That's one third, two thirds, three thirds, and again, the numerator and the denominator, when they're equal, equals one, four thirds, five thirds, and two is equivalent to six thirds. Okay, so what do they want us to do? They want us to do one third five times. There's one. Oh, and look at now our jumps are only one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And there is five. So what is our answer? Or our product? Five thirds. Okay, if I went too fast for you friends, just pause the video and make sure you have your notes written down. Okay, let's look at our next one. This time it says, use an area model to find the product of four and two thirds. I'm sorry, four and two fourths, fourths. Okay, so what do they want us to do? Remember, a four denominator means each hole is cut into four pieces. So that's cut into fourths, and how many of those fourths do I have? Well, the numerator is a two. So it tells me I have two of them. So that is what two fourths looks like. Okay, but this is only one two fourths. Let's draw another two fourths. Now we have two fourths two times, but they want it four times. So let's draw another two fourths. Okay, now we have two-fourths three times, but again, they want it four times, so we have to do it again. Okay, so now we have two-fourths one, two, three, four times. So what do we have here? Well, this is one-fourth, that's one-fourth, that's one-fourth, one-fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth. So how many one fourths do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four times two fourths equals eight fourths. And that is our answer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day and keep practicing and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.